Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Bearable IT. In this video, I'm going to show you bucket fields in a Salesforce report using the lightning view. So if you want to add a bucket field, you just come right here, click this arrow, and say add bucket column. You can add a bucket column for three different types of fields. You can either do it for a number or type field, a text field, or a drop down. The first one I'll do is a number field, such as the amount. Notice how I can have multiple different levels. In this instance, I'm just going to do if the amount is under 50,000, then the opportunity is small. It's under 100,000, it's medium. Greater than that is large. Just give it a name and then press apply. bring it up here and you can see just like that I've got my opportunity size and it reflects the amount. Let's do one more. Add bucket column. This time I'm going to do a drop down. So lead source is a drop down. It has these values and I'm going to call this lead source simplified. And I'm going to add a bucket called web slash phone and I'm going to put both the web and phone inquiries into that bucket. Just like that. Everything else I'm going to put in an other bucket. Press apply. And just like that I've got a second bucket. And what's nice about this is you can actually filter on these if you wanted to. You could come over to the filters and say lead source simplified and you can also group by these if you wanted to. That's all I have for bucket columns. They're pretty simple, straightforward. They're basically very quick and dirty formula fields in my opinion. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and comment below and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.